as far as what I want people to see in the work, I don't think I'm not I'm not making it with the intention of telling people something. It's really a process of me exploring things that I'm worried about, and so those things come across in the work. But it's not necessarily that I'm trying to convey a statement of fact. It's more like a question. All my work comes from, I suppose, just my experience of life. Like, um, I'm an animal living in the kind of environment, that, like a synthetic environment that we've created for ourselves to live in. And I suppose my work is my exploration of that. In the beginning, my work was kind of about the, the materials and about how they actually change over time and kind of a literal representation of that. And over time, it became more about exploring those processes of change through actually halting them in a way or seeming to halt them. So the taxidermy kind of became part of my work as that started happening to my approach um, and I started out by teaching myself and I've done a couple of courses like weekend courses of bird taxidermy and mammal taxidermy and then in the UK there's a guild of taxidermists who is an organisation that's there to promote good practice. It's kind of important for me that I'm doing the taxidermy myself at this stage anyway because it's the part of the process that I don't know how to do properly. So whenever I started making suspended things. It was really important to me that I did all of that by myself because it was a learning process and I didn't really understand it properly and I was kind of refining my skills as a means of kind of developing a relationship with what I'm actually making. So I do all the process of the taxidermy myself and whenever I'm doing it I'm working on pieces of paper as you're skinning the animal, you know, you're taking measurements and drawing around it and taking reference notes so that whenever you come to reconstruct it you've got all the information there so you're measuring like between the edge of the mouth and the corner of the eye and the distance from the front to the back of the eye and the relationship between all these different things and I'm documenting that on the pieces of paper and then those pieces of paper afterwards they form the basis for my drawings so the pieces of paper have already got some kind of marks, pencil marks or notation or whatever and then sometimes they've got bodily fluids of different kinds as well on them before I even start making the drawing and those kind of initial marks that are from the animal physically sitting on the page kind of inform what the rest of the drawing is going to become. So while the drawings, they came from being preparatory drawings for the sculptures but now they're quite different and don't have any visual connection necessarily except for the animals being the same animal as appears somewhere else in my uh, sculptural work.